Former President Donald Trump is currently facing numerous felony charges, but the Constitution guarantees that even if he gets convicted, he's eligible to run for president again. That was surprising to many Verify viewers, especially those who recalled that many states have laws preventing convicted felons from voting. One viewer texted us to ask whether it would be possible that someone could be eligible to run for president, but ineligible to vote. So let's verify. Our sources are the Constitution, the ACLU, the National Conference of State Legislatures, and the Restoration of Rights Project. The Constitution leaves it up to states to decide who's eligible to vote. Only Maine, Vermont, and D.C. allow felons currently in prison to vote. A number of states let felons vote once they get out of prison. Others require them to complete their full sentence first, meaning parole, probation, and paying any fines due. Others still require certain felons to request a pardon to get their voting rights back. And in many states, you have to be eligible to vote to run for state or local office. But states have no say in who can run for federal office, meaning president, vice president, senate, or the House of Representatives. That authority lies solely with the Constitution. And the Constitution says as long as you meet age, citizenship, and residency requirements, you can run. The Supreme Court has said the only way to add more requirements to that list is a constitutional amendment. So we can verify, yes, someone could lose their right to vote in their state, but still be allowed to run for president. With your Verify, I'm Casey Decker.